and sometimes you know it's 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 hard with the uh, it's kid with the kids. But they get to the point in age that they they help out a lot. I get the clothes ready at night. They go to bed between seven and eight o'clock, so they can get up early in the morning, so they can have time to eat breakfast. Get ready for bed. <laughs> it's it's hectic, but it's all uh, it is all good. I I I I enjoy getting ready to come down and see my daughter. They do too. So. up this morning around 2.30, rest for a shower because they moved us, they just moved me to a new dorm and it's dorm three, it's the honor dorm. And um, I had to take me a shower. It's kind of, it's more stressful from mm -hmm. what I used to, because in the dorm, in the faith dorm, that's where I used to live. We had a sign, a sign-in sheet where we didn't know exactly where we at. But in the dorm now, it's like a, they have a, like a strategy that they already know who's behind who without signing anything. And so I have to get in where I fit in and it, it's hard. So I try to wake up earlier and showers start at 1.45. So I try to wake up when they first start taking showers. Cause I know most people aren't awake this time of morning. So. So we went to McDonald's early this morning. We went to McDonald's. And we had breakfast. Yeah, breakfast. Uh huh. And we had fun. Yes, we did. Sing the song. <laughs> I'm going to see going my mommy. I'm going to see my mommy. Sometimes, sometimes the kids get irritated and, and bored. They don't have anything to do. And, but once they are, once they get over that, they're okay. They be looking forward to this day. Oh, I love it. I love seeing my babies. They still my babies, even though they're growing up. It's, it's a good opportunity. I, I appreciate the IAM people for sponsoring this program for us because it really means a lot to us. It means a lot to us for us to see our kids. And they get to interact with the other kids and they get to play games and we can do a lot of stuff together that we can't do at home. In the state of Alabama, I don't think we have a lot of uh, state-funded programs. I don't think there's a lot of money to help the grandparents because it's not like, if, you, if the child is in foster care, it's different. I mean, I think, I think there, are mon there is money for foster parents, but grandparents are um, more or less distributed as, I mean, their relatives taking care of the kids. They get family assistance one night a month. What is that? Um, it's like well, it's welfare, I think, for the, for the two kids since their mother's not here, and uh, I'm their legal guardian. They get one night a month, and that's about it. And whatever I work for. A lot of uh, grandparents they are poor, but they have to do it because if they don't do it, that means that. 
the child may be put up for adoption eventually or in foster care first. Um, in 1991, uh, 500,000 children were reported to have a parent in prison. But in 1999, almost 1.5 million uh, minor children had a parent in prison. It's not even 10 years, it's a, a threefold jump. It's a strain, so I budget my money. I have to budget my money, make sure they have everything they need. Uh, I do all their shopping. I buy like four or five pair of pants, shirts, mm. t-shirts, underwear, socks. I, I get the winter clothes together. Mm. Now I won't have to worry about winter anymore. And then before summer get here, I get all these summer clothes together. And they got plenty of clothes for the summer, so then the clothes are out the way. So now all I got to deal with is food, light bill, work bill. <laughs> Yeah, That's why you see so many lights are not being used because we hardly in, the, in those rooms. When it's time to go to bed, uh, they use the light to go to bed, and that's it. So mostly all the lights out in the house except for the bathroom light. Trip and fall. You can get right down there on the floor, and you can finish. That thing that you want to be in the first place. It really, really put a lot of burden on the grandparents. I mean, when they may be at, a age, at the age, it's really hard, I mean, for them. And also, think about um, our next generations. Um, well, no one said that the grandparents would not be the best uh, caregivers, but with all these, I mean, burdens and conditions and also I mean if you I mean from the statistics and also from uh, studies research studies if I'm um, a lot of children if they have parents in prison they also are more no, likely no, to no. show uh, delinquency behaviors and a lot more other problems behavioral problems and also um, it's very likely I mean a lot more likely for them to have some time in their lives um, be incarcerated than those children whose parents are not um, involved in the criminal justice system.